be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, February 3rd, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. How about a little hottie shooping to kick off your Thursday? Just as you'd expect from one of the baddest men in bodybuilding, hottie's been doing what he does best and absolutely crushing it every time he sets foot in the gym. With all the talk about Brandon Curry potentially jumping to the front of the line as the number one title contender if he wins the Arnold, people seem to be glancing over the fact that Hottie was right there in the conversation last year. And on, depending on who you ask, he might even have deserved to place higher considering the fact that he was the best conditioned athlete on stage. And if the lack of respect pisses him off enough, you never know what might lead to that down the road. Well now, this race for the Arnold Classic title really feels like it's starting to heat up now, now doesn't it? In case you missed it, a few days ago, Samson Dauda posted a sneak peek of his latest check-in video with his coach, Milo Sarshev. And I think it's safe to say that he's on his way to putting together one of the best performances of his career. Samson closed out last year riding a pretty solid wave of momentum, so it isn't like this is completely out of left field. But even still, to deny the progress that he's made in such a short period of time would be crazy. With that being said, this will be the toughest lineup that he's faced to this point in his career. And if he holds his own, I think it sets him up to have a monster 2022 season. We haven't talked about too many rookies from this year's class yet because it's still so early in the season. But maybe we should start because Emmanuel Alvarez is going to start forcing people to pay attention. He released a few updates recently to give his fans an inside look at what he's been working on. And it's pretty safe to say that he's checking all the boxes right now. If you've been following the trends over the last few years, then you've probably noticed how we're seeing more and more rookies come in ready to perform at the highest level right out of the gate. And if Alvarez can keep this up, he might be the next in line. And before we go today, we have another new update from Keon Pearson. Once again, Keon continues to look more and more impressive every time we see him, with the one caveat being that he might actually look bigger now than he did at any point last year when he was trying to make the move up to the 212. For all intents and purposes, 2022 could end up being a fulcrum point in his career because if he makes the move back to Classic, only now he's suddenly in the middle of a dogfight with a handful of other guys who are all scratching and clawing to be one of the top three in the division. It just makes the path to the top of the mountain a lot less clear. But then again, two years ago, three of the top six finishers at the Olympia last year weren't even on anyone's radar, which makes this even more of a toss-up. Right now, the pendulum has the potential to swing in either direction, but which direction it goes is still anyone's guess. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.